Well, I'm on my way to the barn to feed Rosie, and Heidi and the kids are out visiting relatives, and there's a storm coming, but I'm pretty excited. The buffalo are coming off of that, and they're going on to that. The entire fence is up, but it's not operational yet. The first encounter that the buffalo have with the new fence, we want it to be hot. So we're gonna work on that between tonight and tomorrow, and hopefully, not hopefully, we're gonna get it done. They're gonna get let out onto that. Okay, I was thinking we had all the wires up, but now that I remember, we have two wires on that side, on the west side of the property, along the neighbor's barbed wire that I wanna run a couple hot wire lines on that. So, uh, most all the wire is up, but we need to connect all these corners, and then we can get to all that. Well, I think that's all we're gonna get done tonight. See you in the morning. Well, I think we've picked quite a day for letting the buffalo out, but it's gonna happen no matter what. I'm determined. We've gotta go measure for a gate. I believe this entrance that I made was a 12 foot entrance, but I've gotta make sure. And then I think what we'll do is we'll head up to farm store and get a gate and a couple supplies while it's raining, but it looks like it's supposed to be storming and raining off and on all day. It rained pretty good last night. Um, some of the ponds and creeks are overflowing. It's just starting to come down again. We're gonna head up to the store, grab a gate, and a couple other things. There's some deer up front. Little spring fawn. I think this is the one. These gray ones are more heavy duty. These green ones are lighter and this is gonna be an interior fence. So I think this is gonna work for me. I need to measure it just to double check. It says it's 12 foot uh, inch and 5 eighths, which might be a little bit long. I wanted to make my own, but in the interest of time, I wanna get this project done. So I think we'll buy it, but I gotta make sure that that measures out right. Yeah, that measures out perfect. It's actually uh, for a 12 foot opening. So there's a little bit of extra room on each side for the hinge and then for opening and closing. That'll be perfect. Let's load it up. All right, we got it all jimmy rig loaded up on top of a welder on an eight foot trailer with a 12 foot gate, but she's loaded. Let's get this thing put on.
Hopefully there'll be a break in the rain because I have to weld that to the post and it can't rain when I'm welding. We'll get some other things done in the meantime. The sun came out and we are getting close. We have the gate to put on still and then we're walking the entire perimeter making sure everything looks good. We went through all the corners and we connected all of those. There's a couple spots that I need to address that are touching that would be grounding out if it was hot. But other than that, we're getting awfully close. Well, I had thought that I had found the perfect T-post insulator. These right here. You can take and you can screw them on to a wood post or a metal post, and then they will snap onto these T-posts. I replaced a bunch of these over here with those uh, snap-on connector ones with these, and I haven't had any of these break. Those over there broke all the time. Problem is, when I started this fence, all of these seemed like they were really loose when I put them on. And then all these high pressure points where the fence is coming up and coming down uh, a little bit more of a steep angle, they're all popping off left and right. So what I figured out was there's only two problems it could be. Either they started making these wider or they started making the T-post thinner. And sure enough, just what I thought, Orselins Farm and Home, I'll call them out, they started making this T-post thinner. They are charging almost 50%, uh, 50, 50 to 100% more on these T-posts because of the inflation, everything going on. And now they're making them thinner and they don't fit these. So that is extremely frustrating. I'm having to go back and wire, run a wire through this bottom portion you can see to hold all these high pressure points on. Otherwise they'll snap right off and the wire comes dropping down. Really frustrating um, to see people cut in corners like that when you're buying a product that you expect to be a certain way and it's not. And of course, now that they're all on, it's not like you can just rip them all up and return them to the store. It's not really gonna work out. So you have to deal with what you have. There's another one that's fallen off. I really have a feeling I'm gonna have to go through at some point and just wire every single one of those on. That is gonna be a pain. Okay, the entire fence is all tightened up and good to go. We got some odds and ends to do, like cut off the tops of these. Um, and I'm gonna have to go through, I'm gonna have to tighten all, not tighten, but put wire on all of those insulators. They're all uh, very, very loose. But after this gate, we'll be able to let them out. So let's get this gate on and then let's go let them out. This has been a long time coming, getting them onto good green grass. You know what? It's done. Finally. This fence, this gate is a testament to the uh, gentleman who taught me how to do this, Johnny Adams. He's since passed away. But he always used to say that there was not much worse than a crooked gate. It's perfectly level. Looks like that works pretty good. The entire 
fence is up. Like I said, we've got some odds and ends to do like cut the tops off of these, just fattening down a few other things, but it is buffalo proof and buffalo ready. So I don't know about you, but let's go let these buffalo out. I've been waiting for a long time. Anytime I have let buffalo out onto a new pasture, it always makes me nervous. You always think of what did you forget? What things that you did not tie in or just all sorts of things go through your brain. That's all going through my head right now. You know, I was expecting them to come through that gate and just take off. But I think they're enjoying the green grass and it's kind of peaceful out that way. The sun's kind of setting down and the buffalo are roaming. Got a mouthful of hay, mouthful of grass. It's a good evening. they've been to about half of what they have in this field. They went to almost all of this whole line and then they turned back there. Typically whenever you let buffalo out, whenever I have anyway, to a new pasture, they'll make a big circle around all four corners. But since this isn't a big square, I think they're just inspecting every area that they can. 
they look really, really majestic and really pretty in this tall grass. Makes all the work and everything that we do for them worth it whenever you just see a sky like this and beautiful grazing buffalo. I'm really thankful to be out here, thankful that you guys are able to share in this experience with us. So thank you guys for watching and appreciate it. Really, really do. We'll see you guys next time.